Yeah, hi there. These comments are for um, Fadumo, and let's take a look at your situation. She said, I'd like to pass a TOEFL exam with 22 points in the reading, 21 points in the listening, 26 points in the speaking, and 24 points on the writing, and you scored 16 points in the reading, 19 points in the listening, 17 points in the speaking, and 20 points on the writing. And let me just tally up your score right now. I can see where you are right now. So you got 16 on the reading again, 19 on the listening, 17 on the speaking, and 20 points on the writing. Okay, so you have a score of about 72, and you said, I'd like to take the test at the end of May. I wanted to use your website to ask you this information, but I was not sure where to place my question. So which study guide will work best for you. Uh, my opinion is you're probably looking at about three, I'm going to say minimum three months, maybe even up to six months. I mean, you got to, you need a lot of improvement in a lot of areas. So, and, and you, I'm guessing you're probably uh, one of those students who wants to be a pharmacist, maybe a physical therapist, perhaps, maybe nursing, something with medicine, maybe a doctor. So you need a very high score, and especially the difficulties that you're facing right now are the speaking and the writing parts of the test. That's, that's probably the, the thing that you need to concentrate on the most. So I'm going to give you some suggestions right now for Dumo, and let's just go from there. Okay, first of all, stay in the habit of reading. You want to be reading about 45 minutes every day. This is very, very important. Secondly, you want to practice listening for the same amount of time. Now, with reading materials, don't use TOEFL materials. Read things you actually have an interest in. So read magazines, newspapers, and books. Again, topics of which you have an interest. Start doing that every day. Secondly, in terms of your listening practice, if you have English TV, focus on news, documentary history, and also science programs. So you want to do that. Now, as you're doing your reading and your listening practice, Get in the habit of note-taking. Focus on the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and the listening passages. Then using your notes, you can write and speak about this information. So each week you want to write three 250-word summaries, and you also want to give three to five oral summaries of the reading or listening passages. Your oral summaries should be about 60 seconds long, and make sure that you record your voice so you can listen to it. Now if you just do those first two suggestions, that's already putting you at almost two hours a day right there. Now in addition to doing that, I'm going to recommend the the 90 day TOEFL study guide at my website. That will give you a lot of practice. Try to complete as many of the lessons as you can between now and when you complete the TOEFL exam. Now, probably it's best for you because you can study reading and listening on your own, but with speaking and writing, you typically need to get some feedback from someone else. So start completing speaking and writing practice tests on my website. Now, remember our rule. I have one rule. Remember, my course is free for you pretty much. The $38 is just paying my operating costs of my site. You actually will cost me probably $50 a month just to have you as a student. So you can consider my website as a nonprofit organization. Now, once you join my website, though, you want to start posting speaking and writing practice sets, but only complete one speaking and one writing each day. Don't do more than that. That's my basic rule. And if possible, don't even do one a day. Try to do maybe three or four speaking practice sets each week. I'll make sure I give you comments, audio comments, no doubt on your speaking. I'll give you comments in terms of your delivery, language use, and also topic development. Now my teaching assistant 
he will score the writing practice test that you submit. All right, so my recommendation is you have two hours a day doing the reading and the listening, the writing and speaking that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Then you're now going to spend another two hours a day going through the lessons in my 90-day TOEFL study guide. That's what you want to do. That's going to give you about four hours a day. Now you say that you have eight hours a day. I would say for the remainder of the day you can volunteer somewhere where you can speak English. So if you know a homeless shelter, something along those lines, you can volunteer there where you get to speak English every day. That would be a great opportunity to use your English. Now if you don't want to volunteer or do anything like that, um, watch movies. Start watching movies each day. That will give you another two hours. So now you're at at least six hours a day. And probably to go beyond that is a little bit too much. You don't want to burn out either. All right, so anyway, those are my recommendations for you, and all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.